Hello, Internet Amazing Friends. My name is Rich. Thank you so much for uh, deciding to spend some time with a slightly odd man in his 40s. Early 40s. Very early 40s. So, um, I'm more of a DC guy, but uh, because of this partisan world that we live in, I want to do my, my part to bridge the gap between a divided nation and uh, show off my uh, my Marvel Legends collection after uh, after doing a lot of videos on my DC collection. So um, we'll start on the top shelf. Um, this is kind of a miscellaneous mishmash of uh, characters. Um, there's the Walgreens exclusive Punisher. That was an EB Games exclusive here in Canada. There you see Alpha Flight in the back there. Guardian, Sasquatch, and Puck, one of my favorite Marvel teams. That Luke Cage is uh, with a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive uh, Thunderbolts box set is what that Luke Cage came in. It's really surprising they haven't made a regular Luke Cage yet. Um, there's the very awesome Iron Fist figure that's in the recent Doctor Strange wave. That is a tremendous, tremendous action figure. There's a Walgreens Namor back there. He began exclusive here in Canada. There's kind of the defenders of Namor, Doctor Strange, and Valkyrie. That Conan, that's not a Marvel Legends figure. That is a Toy Biz figure. Uh, when they did that legendary, I think it was Legendary Heroes, maybe it was called Legendary Comic Heroes. It was basically like Marvel Legends, but from other comic companies other than Marvel and DC. And I know Conan isn't, you know, specifically a Marvel character per se, but I always think of him as a Marvel character because of the Marvel comics, uh, the comic series Conan and the big magazines back in the 80s that I used to uh, read quite a lot. Mainly because there's a lot of scantily clad maidens in that. Uh, there's Daredevil, Spider-Woman, Nova. I won't go through all of these, but... And there is... Um, that is a Hasbro Marvel Legends Ghost Rider on one of the Toy Biz Marvel Legends bikes. So in case you're wondering how that looks, I think it looks pretty sharp. And here we are at my Avenger shelf. I would like to have the Avenger shelf on the very top, um, but because of Giant Man, they, they just won't fit. Um, I, I like to keep this mainly classic characters, but I do have Winter Soldier in there. Um... It's the actually the comic Winter Soldier head on the uh, movie Winter Soldier body. And that is a movie War Machine, but he, he kind of looks comic enough since we don't have a Hasbro Marvel Legends War Machine as of yet. I don't think we ever had one. There we go. That Hawkeye is actually an amalgamation of the, uh, the Build-A-Figure Odin Hawkeye and the uh, first Hasbro Hawkeye they released where he's just in his sort of kind of boring outfit. Just where he's basically wearing purple sunglasses and a t-shirt. So I kind of combined those two figures to make him. That Captain America, that's the... Uh, I think it was the... It, it was from a Captain America wave. Uh, the build a mandroid, I think. And I put the classic cap head on that body. Because I thought that looked kind of sharp. Kind of a neo-classic cap. Now, I, I, this is mainly Hasbro Marvel Legends figures. That's mainly what I'm collecting. Um, but that is the Toy Biz build a figure giant man, because that is an awesome, awesome figure. And, yep, yeah, some more Avengers. There we go. That Vision, it's the Hasbro Vision, but he does have the uh, Toy Biz classic Vision cape. Down here, my spy. Oh, and you'll notice some weird gaps. That's just where I have space to put uh, new figures in. And that flight stand that uh, Wasp is on, and... Uh, Captain Marvel back there are just coat hanger, coat hangers that I, I fashioned into uh, into flight stands. I have a few of these in this collection. Here's my Spider-Man shelf. Again, I like getting classic characters in a classic in in their classic look or classic as possible. Um, there's that awesome build a figure uh, Sandman. Man, Toy Biz was the best because they a lot of their figures had these little bases in them. And I'm sort of using these. I don't have any, any figures on there right now, but I will eventually. I mean, that was a standard for a figure to come with something like that. Now, in 2017, that would be a deluxe figure, and it would cost, you know, 30 bucks. But back then, that was just a regular pack-in with uh, some of the Marvel Legends. There we go. Now, uh, Chameleon. Where's Chameleon? Chameleon and the dehumidifier just came on. I apologize. Uh, Chameleon came with, obviously, the Chameleon Head, and also uh, Hammerhead, and J. Jonah Jameson. So, I found a couple extra suited bodies to throw those heads on. Uh, these are actually uh, Mattel Mo DC Movie Masters. I think that's Harvey Dent's uh, body that J. Jonah Jameson is using. And I think, I don't know whose body that is, but anyway, I needed some suited bodies for those guys. But So, there's the Spider-Man shelf. 
Again, I like mainly getting classic characters. Here is my villain shelf. Now you'll notice uh, that MODOK back there. That is not a Marvel Legends figure. I did have the Toy Biz build a figure MODOK, and I sold it, and I kind of regret it not having him. So there's some weird video game. I forget what it's called, but it was like a Marvel video game, and you bought the figures, and they kind of went with the game. No one ever bought them ever, so um, they went on clearance. So I managed to grab that MODOK to throw on my Marvel Legends uh, um, display. He's not really in scale, but it's I sort of have him in the back there. And I don't get every villain, but just sort of the villain, the main villains and also villains that I like. Armin Zola, that is not a Marvel Legends figure. That's from that uh, kind of cheap kitty line, uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man line. Um, but I wanted an Armin Zola, and it's very expensive to, to find that build a figure now, so I threw him in there. He's kind of in scale. There's good old Red Skull, Baron Zemo, Enchantress. Batroc, not a, a major villain, but I just, I, I've always liked that character. Oh, and there's a number six. Probably should have took that off when I built that shelf. Now there's Bulldozer. I would love to have the Wrecking Crew, but it is so expensive to get all of them now. Um, so there's Bulldozer. I might get more of, of the Wrecking Crew. And there's some build of figures back there. And finally, my X-Men shelf. And again, big empty space. That is for hopefully more X-Men uh, Marvel Legends. Um, that recent, that there's the build of figure Juggernaut. That was the most, well, the most recent. One of the few uh, X-Men Marvel Legends waves that Hasbro does because Disney and Fox can't get along. Um, but if you didn't have any X-Men figures and then you bought that, that Juggernaut build a figure wave, you would have had a pretty good collection of uh, X-Men figures all of a sudden. I'll be replacing that Cyclops pretty soon when the, uh, the Jim Lee Cyclops comes out. I love that Wolverine figure. Love that figure. So that Magneto, um, that's actually the Onslaught head um, that came with Kitty Pride. I just stuck it on that because I, I don't think uh, Hasbro nailed Magneto when they made that figure. I think he was part of the build... Uh, uh, anyway, he, he was from a, 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 a Has one of the few Hasbro X-Men waves from a, a couple of years ago. It, the head wasn't great, so I just popped on the Onslaught head. Which looks okay, but... And, yeah. There's Cable, big empty space for more figures. And there's the very cool Deadpool figure. So, And Iceman, it's the Hasbro Marvel Legends Iceman. He is standing on a Toy Biz Iceman uh, base, one of the Sentinel bases that some Marvel Legends came with uh, many years ago. So, there you go. There is my, uh, I should say, I should specify my Hasbro Marvel Legends collection. I have this one shelf. Again, I'm more of a DC guy, but obviously I love Marvel Comics as well. I love these characters, and uh, I do enjoy collecting them. And just to show you how biased I am, even though I'm mainly a Star Wars fan and a DC fan, I would say Hasbro Marvel Legends currently are the best mass market collector, collect, collector's line out there right now. Um, so for the price, for the availability, um, I think they do a great job, and I can't wait until Toy Fair to see uh, what new figures we'll have. Uh, so there you go, guys. Just a quick look at my, whoops, at my uh, Marvel Legends collection. And stay tuned. I will hopefully have my uh, Star Wars Black Series uh, collection tour video up fairly soon. Okay, guys. Until next time, uh, be a true believer, and I will see ya.